I was already at 400 pounds. By the time I graduated from high school, I was at 450. Oh my God. And my highest, the highest that I weighed um, when I had my first child was 503 pounds. Wow. Wow. That, that just, that just like proves everything, you know, cause I'm, you know, you know, and my, my viewers know that I have personally been stri struggling with weight. I never have been that, you know, my highest weight has only been like 253. Um, currently I'm like 242, but, uh, I, you know, going on these intermittent weight loss journeys, I know, you know, just stress will cause you strength, good stress and bad. I mean, you, food can really be a comfort. It's like, it's like, you know, especially, you know, okay, yes, this is going to taste this way. This is going to make me feel a certain way. It's kind of like food becomes a drug in a way, wouldn't you say? Yes, it is. It becomes, a, it becomes an addiction. But what happens is people don't look at it that way. So you'll get a lot of people that will not have any empathy or sympathy or compassion for people that are struggling mm -hmm. with weight problems. Uh, compared to people that have an alcohol or drug addiction or things like that. And then some people even have other addictions. You know, it could be shopping. It could be sex. It could be things like that that you yeah. can't see. So they are able to hide it. You understand? If you're doing drugs to a certain degree, you can hide it because you have functional drug addicts. If you're, you're drinking mm -hmm. the same way, if you are sexing, you know, the same way, you know, you can, you can hide it, but when the person continues to eat, then you can't hide it because it continues to grow and go. And then 